Lesson 9. The roots we are going to learn in this lesson are as follows. Land, country. Clar, clear. Prain, take. Vetur, travel in a vehicle. Mond, world. Rouge, red. Vol, will. Form, form, commence, begin, and receive, receive. The ending, which is the last of the endings we are going to learn, is the ending us, which indicates the conditional, usually translated in English by wood. Mi Venus semi povus. I would come if I were able. Li estus felicia se si dirus que si amas lin. He would be happy if she said that she loved him. Literally, if she were to say, that she loves him. Chuni ritsevus respondon seniscribus. Would we receive a reply if we were to write? La mondo estus pli bona loco se la homoi amus unu la alian. The world would be a better place if people loved one another. Estas clare que ili irus lau lavoyo de bonetso se oni helpus ilin. It is clear that they would go the road of goodness if one were to help them. Chuni veturu tra la camparo. Shall we travel through the fields? Mi cunirus semihavus veturilon. I would accompany if I had a vehicle. Clarigu al mi, kion vi volus fari, se vi havus multain ricciajoin. Explain to me what you would wish to do if you had many riches. Mi unue havigus al mi grandan rujan veturilon. I would first of all acquire for myself a big red vehicle. Se mi devus paroladi antau la homoi, mi rugigius. If I had to make a speech in front of people, I should blush. En ciui landoi, la homoi ne desiras militon. In all countries, the people do not want war. Se ili havus tempon, la ge signoroi scius helpivin. If they had time, the lady and gentleman would know how to help you. Baldau ni comensos disconigi la gravain novajoin.
Soon we shall begin to spread the important news. Se mi estus ricevinta la scribajon, mi tui comensus la laboron. If I had received the document, I should immediately begin the work. La affero ne estas clara, ciu povus cin clarigi al mi. The matter is not clear. Who could explain it to me? Se mi dirus tion, oni priridus min. If I were to say that, one would mock me. Kiam mi iris alla legeo, mi cunprenis miai namikoin. When I went to the reading room, I took my friends with me. Cunigio de quar nazioi formis tiun landon. An amalgamation of four nations formed that country. La signoro estis plena de bonvolo. The gentleman was full of good will. Li bonvolis doni al mi kelkain belajoin. He was good enough to give me several beautiful objects. Bonvolus ciigi al mi via nomon. Please tell me your name. Bonvolu helpi min. Please help me. Helpu min mi petas. Help me, please. Bonvolu starigi. Please stand up. Bonvolu sidigi. Please sit down. The prefix in this lesson is the prefix bo, meaning in-law. For example, bo patro, father-in-law, bo patrino, mother-in-law, bo ge patroi, parents-in-law. The next section concerns four more words from the table of correlatives with which you should now be fairly familiar. These words are all words beginning with E. They are Io, something, Iu, some or someone, Iam, sometime, and ie, somewhere. Io gioiga occasis alli. Something pleasant happened to him. De la patro li ricevis ion bonan. From his father, he received something good. Iu alia povus fari pli rapide la laboron. Someone else could do the work more quickly. En iu locoi la homoi havas multan laboron, en aliai mal multan. In some places, the people have much work. 
in others little. Ni iru iam alayunuleyo. Let us go sometime to the youth hostel. Iam mi estis felicia sed ne nun. Once I was happy, but not now. Ie en la mondo vivas mia iama amatino. Somewhere in the world there lives my former or sometime girlfriend. Sidiju ie. Sit down somewhere. Helpu iu. Someone help. Helpu iun. Help someone. Venu iam al mia logeo. Come sometime to my house. Iam ni translogijos alalia loco. Sometime we shall remove to another place. Malbona estas io en la lando. Something is evil in the country. Ie mi vidis linantaue. Somewhere I have seen him before. Mia amo deliamo, mia am morgawa. My love of once upon a time, my love of tomorrow. Ie iu iam faris ion. Somewhere, someone, sometime did something. And now, we pass to the word contrao, which means against. Contrao mi starigis multai malamicoi. Many enemies stood up against me. Kiune estas porni estas contrauni. Who is not for us is against us. Li forte contraustaris mian peton. He strongly opposed my request. Miai contrauloi ne estis malfortuloi. My opponents were not weak men. Tio estas clara demando pri bono au mal bono. That is a clear question of good or ill. Ili ne povis contraudiri mian clarigon. They were unwilling or unable to contradict my explanation. Oni mult foie militis contrautiu nazio. One frequently made war against that nation. Mi contrao parolos semipovos. I shall speak against it if I am able. Contrao la flank voyo staris granda ruja logeo. Opposite the side road, there stood a large red dwelling. 
La veturilo iris lau iu flankvojo. The vehicle went along some side road. Now we come to the words yam and ol. Yam is here translated as already. But you must be warned that Esperanto yam and English already are by no means exact equivalents. There is, in fact, no exact equivalent of yam in English. Its use will be learned by acquaintance. The word all translates English than. Mi konas lin, char mi yam vidis lin kelk foye. I know him because I have frequently seen him before. Post via clarigo, mi yam comprenas. After your explanation, I now understand. Post via clarigo, mi yam iros. After your explanation, I shall go at once. La signorino havas novan infanon. She yam havas queen. The lady has a new child. She already has five. Mi yam antawe helpis vin. I already helped you before. Vi estis amico de mia patro? Donu yam vian manon. You were a friend of my father's? Give me your hand. Li yam ridis pri la ocasion tajo. He was already laughing at what was about to take place. La laboristoi yam comensis alveni, kiam mi parolis alilia estro. The workers were already beginning to arrive when I spoke to their boss. Li estas junulo, sed li jam ricevis gravan laboron. He is a young man, but he has already received important work. Mi jam ne povos iri kun vi pro tio kio okazis. I'll no longer be able to go with you because of what has happened. She lodges en pli granda chambro ol mi. She lives in a bigger room than I. Li amas la patron pli ol la patrinon. He loves his father more than he loves his mother. Ili iris lau pli longa voyo. They went by a longer way. Post la milito oni vivis pli libere olantawe. After the war, one lived more freely than before. Kiu estas pli aminda ol tiu belulino?
Who is more lovable than that beautiful woman? She pli emas paroli o labori. She is more inclined to talk than to work. Kiu vivis pli longe, via bo patro o via bo patrino? Who lived longer, your father-in-law or your mother-in-law? Mia vetorilo iras pli rapide o la lia. My car goes quicker than his. Hodiaŭ oni vivas pli felice o len na malnova tempo. Today one lives more happily than in the old days. La signoro mortis antaŭ ol mi povis al paroli lin. The gentleman died before I was able to speak to him. Vi devas lerni veturadon antaŭ ol veturigi libere veturilon. You must learn to drive before driving a car freely. Now, two prepositions, sub, meaning under, and sur, meaning on. Sub latero, under the earth. Ili vivis malrice en la subterra chambro. They lived in poverty in the subterranean room. El lia parolado mi subcomprenis que li estas contraulo de la milito. From his speech, I conjectured that he is an opponent of the war. Li submeti sin alla rujuloi. He submitted to the Reds. La homoi subridis kiam ilial parolis lin. People smirked when they addressed him. Sur la terra, on the earth, mia sur terra vivo, my earthly life. Sur voie alla lerneo, ci vidis belan vidagion. On her way to school, she saw a beautiful sight. Sur la campo staris kvar homoi. In the field, four people were standing. Nenion ni povas fari sur loke. We can do nothing on the site. Multai nazioi vivas sur la terra. Many nations live upon the earth. Ni suriris la campon. We went into the field. And that is the end of the ninth lesson.